you have common sense if you notice there's a world around you not if you are thinking you can do whatever you want to do there is only one thing that i know is true about existence you may think that it's common it's not so common sense oh hello there hi i came in a little early there but welcome and y'all to not so common sense Season 3, episode 12, coming at you live right here on Twitch. And if it's not live, you're listening to us at a different point in time. Uh, You, first of all, are missing some amazing animation over here. I am here. (laughs) I am Lop. This is my wonderful co-host, Miss Sky, with her mouse in her pocket that we're still trying to name. (laughs) <laughs> I had a good idea, which I didn't even think about it, but Squeak. That is a good name. I mean, we have a it friend was, named Squeak. Yeah. She gave me, they gave me the idea. So I'm like, I kind of like that. I like that so far. Cause yeah. No you, one, like, no one... you like that one better than my Tits McGee one? <laughs> yes, because that's the name of my tit. But mm. you can't. It can't be both. It's confusing. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> well, welcome, and we see you guys in the live chat. Much love to y'all. Appreciate it. Hope everybody's doing well out there. If you're driving to work and listening to us, guys, look out. There's a bird. Please don't wreck. Be safe. Practice mm-hmm, safe mm-hmm, mm-hmm. driving. There's an airplane flying over me right now, and I thought <laughs> that... It, it was, was going, the end of the world. Uh, yeah, I thought there was a bomb coming down <laughs> on top of me, and it well, freaked me out for a second. But we're good now. Uh, how you been, Sky? How was your week? Uh, your first week since we came back to the podcast. Fucking busy, man. Yeah, I feel like it just like went by. It's because like we had all those posts. You, you cut down the, the episode. We had to post everything on social media. I had to make sure everything, I still have more stuff that I need to post today. A lot it's of just been busy behind the scenes. Type uh, of work. Behind the scenes there's a lot that goes into these. Like, yeah. There's a lot that goes into these realize, podcasts. Man. Like we do a lot of stuff and not, you know, that's just, that's just that not even our day to day. And right. You know, I got a kid, you <laughs> have burritos Doritos. <laughs> I haven't had Doritos in a minute. I said Boritos, but oh, I thought you said Doritos. <laughs> Doritos were uh, I got a question, and before I uh, <laughs> even ask oh, it, boy. I already know it's a stupid question. But oh boy, is Doritos a Spanish word? Honestly, I just think it's just the name. I never really. I, I always really... thought it was just the the brand, but then I hear like. Doritos Locos Tacos, and I didn't know it was like that, like a, is that like an actual? No, that's because the the, the taco itself is made out of the Dorito shell. Like, it's a I Dorito. I know that, but they, like, I just didn't know if like Doritos was an actual like Spanish word as well. Uh, not that I know of. Let's see. Listen, you are our resident Hispanic here, Sky. <laughs> I just, we just, I've just never heard of it like that. You like, I've never I mean, had anybody dumb enough to ask that question. Well, because like, it's kind of like saying, like, okay, like toast, like toast, that's just the name of like toast. Like, it, it's not like I wouldn't, I don't know how to explain this in a, in a way. It, it's just the, the name of how the food is called. Right. Because it's so just really, a fried it's chip. just called Locos Tacos. <laughs> See. <laughs> With a Dorito shell. I just didn't know if Dorito was a Spanish word or not. I don't know where that, that term came from, Dorito. I don't know if that's just something they made up as a brand name or... It's, it's just like um, like tortilla chips. Like it's just, it's like the same thing, but it's just, I guess Doritos are just flavored, I guess, maybe. And that's why it's different. Like it's the same thing. Like, I don't know. It's just... I've never thought about that. I never once, like, that never once crossed my mind. I know. And these are the things I think about. (laughs) I need you to stop. (laughs) I can't help it. Think about other stuff. (laughs) Did you have any good meals this week? Anything stand out? Or was it just kind of a simple, normal? It's kind of a simple, normal week, man. It was kind of anticlimactic. I feel Mm -hmm. like I had Taco Bell at some point. 
this past week. And I think that was the light of my life. Yeah. I'm obsessed with their nacho cheese, man. I really, it's a problem. It's a problem. Yeah, you should I'm probably. I'm going to riot. You should probably talk to the therapist. Oh, I will. About your problem with cheese. It's not cheese, just just though. the nacho it's cheese. The nacho cheese, yeah. specifically from Taco Bell. I don't something about that cheese, man. I just I need I need it. I need it in my life. It's like your yum yum sauce. Mm. How you put yum yum sauce on it? That's the cheat. That's what that cheese is for me. Like it just makes everything I eat better. For anyone who doesn't know what yum yum sauce is, it's it's the orange sauce from like a hibachi restaurant. And I really feel like I've never they, had. They call it. They call it yum yum sauce, but it's it's normally orange. Sometimes it's white. I don't know why. I don't know what the difference is. They taste the same. I don't know. Um, just depends on the restaurant you go to. But most of the time, it's orange, and it is delicious. They sell it at Walmart. You can buy it just about anywhere nowadays, and it is so good. And you can't if you're buy having, that cheese anywhere, man. You can't. You can't. But you know what I like about Taco Bell, though, is that hmm. they wrap all of their food like i normally get a box mm -hmm. like the taco bell box whatever mm -hmm. and each item is wrapped individually mm. so i don't like have to worry about my food touching touching which is yeah. something i wanted to talk to you about does that bother you if your food touches depends honestly it just depends on what i'm eating but normally like a Hispanic dish is like a bowl of rice with chicken and vegetables, like all thrown together. You know what I mean? So like in my mind, that's all I think about. I'm like, eh, it's just a soiree of food, just touching, like mixing. And then I just mix everything together anyway. Because I can't do it. I don't like, like if, if, say I have mashed potatoes, right? And then I have mm -hmm. corn and they're mm -hmm. touching. Mm -hmm. I will take a spoon or a fork or something and I will, the, the part that's touching, I will scoop it off of my plate and put it to the side and not eat it. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm I'm not a psychopath. Yeah, so. it's a problem for me. <laughs> I, that's why those those plates that came out that have all the dividers on the them. Those were the those were greatest some things for you guys. Best yeah. thing ever. And I know I'm not My, crazy because I know there's people that are like me, like that. They don't like yeah, their food I mean, touching. Obviously, they wouldn't have those section plates. So otherwise, I've my seen, kid is like that too. I've seen people just take everything on their plate like at like a thanksgiving dinner or something and just mix it, put all, it together. all together and, and i understand that it's all going to a well the same the place same spot, the same doesn't that's what my dad used to say honestly but for me it wasn't even that it was just the different flavors are great apart but when you mix them together it enhances the food so much yeah like like the sweet and savory so with thanksgiving dinner like Taking some turkey with some cranberry and a little bit of gravy and just a little scoop of like the the mashed potatoes and like mixing that together makes like a very savory like just bite. So it enhances the flavor. But like I totally understand because there are some times where I'm just like I don't want my food to be mixed together. And then there's other times where I'm just like you know what that looks good if it was together. Yeah. I I don't I don't know what it is about. The food touching, because I I know it's and you want to, let me make it even worse and make myself <laughs> sound even crazier. I was gonna say I'm like oh don't please don't tell them about what you're what you're about to say. What I don't know if that you know if it was all in a fucking wrap tortilla like a oh, fucking burrito. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that, but that's another good point too. <laughs> oh no, what were you gonna say? I'm I was scared. gonna say that I could take a bite of mashed potatoes, and while I'm chewing the mashed potatoes, take, <laughs> take a bite a of corn. Bowl of corn. And eat it, and that's perfectly <laughs> fine. There's oh nothing god. wrong with that to me. Oh my god! Make it make sense because it doesn't. You're a visual. You're a visual person. I guess. I said this to you for the longest time. I'm like, you are very visual. Like you, you need to see. You yeah. need to see everything. For example, you're you're step out of the room, close the door, and open the door to like see everything again. You are a very visual person. Okay, what she's talking about there, uh, I made a TikTok the other day about <laughs> uh, how I was cleaning my house and stuff. And sometimes when I get done cleaning a room, not even when I'm done, just to basically kind of see if I'm done, I will step out of the room and close the door. And I'll even walk away sometimes. I'll walk away and go grab a drink or something. And then I'll come back and I'll open the room as if I'm just going into it for the first, as somebody new looking at it for the first time. 
Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. I'm like, does anything like stand out to me that should be cleaned up or changed or switched or anything like that? So I want to know if any of you crazy people out there do that as well. Talk about reading a room. I am over analyzing <laughs> the room. The physical room. You're like a feng sh- like feng sh- feng shui. Feng, 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 shui, feng I shui. I think, I think it's feng, feng shui, shui, but it's is spelled it feng? feng shui. It is. That's why I always get some. I hate that. That that bothers me. Yeah. That fucking bothers me. But like it, that's what I think like it kind of is for you. Like it's a very like you just get that vibe, a flow, which is pretty cool. Like there's not a lot of people that do that. Me, I'm just Throw a fucking mattress on the floor anywhere. It's fine. I'll sleep. <laughs> just... Yeah, it's a form of OCD. I've never been diagnosed with it, but I have definitely I'm, self-diagnosed. You have, you, have uh, you definitely have the tendencies, but so do I. We all, I yeah, think I, we all do at this point. It's a spectrum. It is. It is a spectrum. Some I'm just higher up on the spectrum than a lot of people <laughs> when it comes to... But there's people way worse than me, too, you so I'm very it lucky. You could be, too? You know what I think it could be too? It's because you have no shame. Cause that's what fixed it for me. For what fixed it for me was the fact that everybody be like, oh, you're being weird. Why are you doing that? I'm like, oh ha ha, ha just kidding. And then like immediately in my head, I'm like, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that, don't oh, do that, don't do that. I see. Did that. So like it like it's the shame, like where society makes you feel like that, where you're just like, this is me. Fuck you guys. <laughs> yeah. It's I don't yeah, I don't give in to the the peer pressure. But see what it did to you? You should feel shame. Yeah, I don't at all. I'm proud of it, to be honest with you, because it's who I am. And it's what makes me unique, everybody. <laughs> I've unraveled a mystery. But I ne- No, that's a good... Maybe you should be a therapist. That's like a good little... I've been told a lot thought. that I should be. I honestly, I have... I'm just... I'm a puzzle... I'm a puzzler. Like, I like to put pieces together. So I get little snippets of, like, and I hate that I do this, too. I'm not doing it on purpose. It just stays in my consciousness for some reason. But, like, there's little pieces that just stick into my brain. And then it kind of just gets put together. And I kind of understand a person as a whole. And I think it makes it easier for me to, like, empathize more with people. And I think that's what builds my relationship a lot with people. It's just when people, like, take... When I say these things and they're like, I'm not that. And they get all mad and pissy about it. I'm like, I'm not trying to say it's a bad thing. I'm just bringing it to the surface. My bad. I will fuck off (laughs) with my truth. (laughs) Yeah. Well, back to the, back to the food though. I (laughs) did eat uh, somewhere that I haven't eaten in a while. This Mm, week I went to Outback Steakhouse. Mm, and there's something that? it the the food was amazing i got some kind oh. of burger with with onions on it that were already like breaded and deep fried and it was completely unhealthy but super delicious you know and i was uh i just wanted to talk about something that bothered me oh boy yeah it bothered oh boy. me <laughs> And shocker, something bothered Lop when he was out in public. <laughs> this is why I don't go out in public. Uh, uh, yeah. And <laughs> I, I feel like there are people on different sides of the spectrum. First of all, let me preface this with saying I 100% respect the hell out of waiters and waitresses in the work they do. It's unreal. Bravo. Hats off to them. They're incredible. Mm-hmm. However... <laughs> the the gentleman that we had there at Outback this week came to the table every maybe every minute and a half to two minutes. Oh God! The entire time, it felt like he was coming to that table. I'm probably exaggerating, but it felt like it was every minute and a half to two minutes. And it's always when I'm taking a bite of food. But it's like, <laughs> as a waiter, aren't you supposed to be able to kind of read the room a little bit and look and be like, oh, they're talking, they're good, their waters are good, their drinks are good. They're, they're... Why would you just keep coming up every couple minutes when we're just like, no, we're good after the fifth time. We're fine. <laughs> we'll call you when we we'll, need we'll you. We'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell you. 
Like, now, yeah. I'd probably be upset if they hadn't come to the table very often either, though, too. So really, I probably just can't be pleased. No, but, you but no, there. I think there is a. I think. <laughs> what would you prefer out there? If you're if you're out to eat, what do you prefer? Would you prefer a waiter coming to the table more often or not enough? Who? I don't prefer any of those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, either of those choices is they, they they both sound bad. They both sound terrible. Yeah. I mean, I But you like, got to choose. That's the game. I don't want to choose. <laughs> what happens if I don't choose? Then you're never allowed to eat again. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I need my my nacho cheese sauce. Yeah. <laughs> I need my Taco Bell. I think I would honestly prefer if that was the case. Um I would prefer for them to come more than not giggity. See, not me, because I'll flag them down if I need something. I don't I'm care. Too like small. you said, nobody sees the, me. The no shame in me comes out and I'll just I stand know. up and, well, and start waving. Yeah, well, I mean, I've walked I being that I was a waitress before, I don't know, for some reason that never bothers me. Like, okay, so for example, I don't think I told you this, but the other night I went out with the family uh for our birthday and we went out to a restaurant at the end of the at the end of the night. Mm-hmm. And the waitress, like, she was nice. She was very accommodating. But, like, she also, she, like, she did not come to the table very often. Um, and I was the one who always had to flag her down. But, again, I'm a small ass. Like, I, people don't see me. Um, so, like, we kind of just, like, every time we saw somebody, we kind of just, like, talked to them. It was a small little, like, hole in the wall place. But at the very, very end, my mom was, like, drinking the rest of her soda and... She has something in her mouth and she pulls it out and it's a piece of glass, like a shard of glass in her in her drink that literally came out of her mouth. And there was pieces all on the bottom of it. So I got up and like because I was trying to freaking flag him down like, hey, like, can y'all come over here? Because something right here. Right. <laughs> and they like completely like just didn't even buy. And it was close to closing time. So I get it. But like I, I stood up and I went over to there. So for me, it's not even like a shame thing. Like, I don't care. Like. I think for me, it's just I rather them come because I know that I'm going to need more napkins, more drink. There's no ketchup on the table. There's there's something that they're also inadequately going to not provide for me that I'm going to need. Mm -hmm. it's and again, just, I'm just small. It's just one of those things where I I just wish people had a little more common sense. That's yeah. what this whole podcast is about. But <laughs> it's it's. Becoming worse and worse because re people are becoming very socially awkward. It's bad. Because it's, a lot it's... of the times, waiters and waitresses are normally younger, right? Mm -hmm. They're kind of just starting out in the workforce and, and yep. they're getting their, their feet wet with that, you know, working a job and stuff. And mm -hmm. so they're younger. But today's younger generation, <laughs> I know this is, I just sound like the oldest man in the world right now. <laughs> But today's younger generation genuinely snappers, snappers. Yeah, they genuinely <laughs> grow up on the internet though. They do. And they are not social. They don't know how to socialize in a normal manner. They don't. And it's I noticed that when I was starting to leave the workforce and that was wow, close to 10 years ago. <laughs> it's been that long since I've had an actual job. <laughs> but yeah like when i worked in a group environment i should say with other people like i've noticed that that was the case like the new workforce actually it was less than that what am i talking about the new workforce was focus very very just just not focused <laughs> they weren't there is what it was they were just kind of just like that and i don't know yeah that's just uh it's just a thing that bothered me was that and but the problem was this guy wasn't even young. He was old enough to know better, and he just kept coming up to the table. I think he was bored. I genuinely, Probably. I genuinely think he was just bored and was like, "I'm going to bother these people while they're trying to eat." And every time they come up, I, I have a mouthful of food. Never, maybe, never fails. Maybe they have like a thing where they like bet the other waiters like how many times they can get you to like say something or like. Ever since watching that movie Waiting, I've always felt like that they do that stuff. 
Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that movie or not. Yeah. With Ryan Reynolds, but I yeah. always feel like they are are messing with us. <laughs> it. I, I'm just. I'm not a fan of it anymore. That movie kind of ruined me on eating out at restaurants like that. I know. I know. It did for me as well. I mean, a lot of things kind of ruined it for me too, but. Sometimes I kind of try my best to not think about it. Danny in our live chat says, or they're trying to work up, uh, he's trying to work up his tip, right? Which is, uh, brings me to another thought that I've had. <laughs> what is going on with tipping? Everywhere for everything. Everybody wants to tip. Everybody I literally tip. could go to a gas station, buy a candy bar, and there, there's an option. They're like, tip, 15%, mm -hmm. 20%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tip what? What do you mean? Yep. Why is there, why are, everybody's expecting a tip for literally everything now. <laughs> everything. <laughs> it does not matter. I mean, people kind of like just a tip. Every now and then. I need you to stop. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> but it's, it's out know. of control, though. There's a, a local Chinese restaurant I go to. They print out the receipt, and I have to, I have to do the, fill out the thing, and it says tip on there. And I always feel like a jerk not tipping. But I'm like, <laughs> what am I tipping? I'm paying for the food that I'm picking up. What? What? So I just put a line through it and then put the price under that they charged me. And then mm -hmm. I get the look from them like, okay, thanks. Yeah. Like, what? what? I'm already paying an outrageous amount of food for food. Why are, why are you expecting a tip on top of that? And yeah, people are like, well, if you can't afford to tip, you shouldn't go out to eat. That isn't the point. <laughs> <laughs> that isn't the point. That point is going so far over your head. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've used to do this before. Like I, I did anything like I, when I go out, I should say that I would tip based off of performance before right. even working as a waitress. Like right, I, but even what's then, the performance like, in a Chinese restaurant just me picking up the food from them exactly. at the counter? They, there's no performance. There's there's none. Oh, it makes me angry on, an, on a level that it shouldn't. <laughs> I swear, I you can go to Lowe's and yeah, buy something, and they're there. like, tip? Who, who am I tipping, for one? <laughs> I walked into the store. I found the stuff. I went up to the self-checkout register. I checked myself out. I did the job of the employee there. I paid my money, and then they had the nerve to ask for a tip. And I'm what? like, who? Who's getting this tip? I don't know, man. I don't know. But on that note, I should also add that it's going to come to a point where there's not going to be any people at those places besides, like, security. Right. Am I going to have to tip security be... to get in? Yeah, you're going to have to. They, they secure the place, man. They're doing a stand-up job. I just, I just don't understand why companies can't pay their employees a fair enough wage to wear. To... But it doesn't matter. Even if they are, everybody wants a tip now, and I just don't get it. It's just something yeah. that is... And I'm a good tipper. Like, if, if, like, there's something to tip for, I will give a, a solid tip. You know what I mean? But I can't just be tipping everybody. I can't. I'm no, not trying to tip so my far. pharmacist. I'm not trying to tip my pharmacist when I go pick up some medicine. You know? <laughs> I'm not... I feel like I'm going to go to the doctor and on my way out, she's going to like have her hand out. Like, <clears throat> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this is what it's coming to. It's driving me crazy. It really is. It really is. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know. It's sad. It, it, it's sad that it has to come to this, too. Like, that's, that's the struggle. Well, with inflation and stuff, too, in this economy. In this economy. <laughs> Guy likes to make fun of me a lot because I say in this economy quite often. He's old, guys. but I don't say it in an ironic way. I genuinely he mean says it. it. <laughs> I know, but it's just 
<laughs> but I'll be none the wiser. Yeah, but it's <laughs> it's just out of control in my thirty years of living. <laughs> It's never Maybe. been this bad. Yeah, I don't know about it, man. I feel like... <sighs> Pay isn't going up, and the price no, of everything yeah. else is. It's, it's, there's there's got to be a give. And there's going to be. There's, I feel like... It, there's going to be a like, give. It's going to be civil war. I know, and it's, it's, it's terrifying. Because it's like, it's, this could be resolved so, so easily. Mm -hmm. So easily. I feel like everything as a whole, our whole entire infrastructure is just, it's a joke. Yeah, and I it agree. it sucks. And it's, and it's so funny because like, okay, so my kid right now, he's learning about the Declaration of Independence and all that stuff and the Founding Fathers and the yada, yada, yada. And like, I'm reading through this stuff and I'm like, they would be rolling in their graves, man. Some of them, at least. The well, other ones who were just as corrupt wouldn't, they'd be like, yes. <laughs> Well, I'm, the thing is also when that, like, shouldn't that have been updated by now, though, too? <laughs> a thousand percent, because it's been how long? Like, <laughs> life life around us is expediting at such a rapid rate, and yet we're here like, oh, wait, wait, slow the fuck down. This is too fast for us. It's too much. Just let life pass us right the fuck by. And I just, I don't understand what's everybody's, what, it's fear. It's fear. Well, I just don't think anybody knows what to do about it. What, what does just, the common person do about it? Just let it flow, man. Just ride well, you the can. Way. Yeah, I mean, you can, but you're going to be homeless in a year. So will everybody else if we all that doesn't ride the goddamn matter. wave. <laughs> I don't care if 15 other people jump off a bridge. If it, I don't want to jump off the bridge. You'll land on them. It's no. fine. <laughs> There's, there's, there's so much that could happen, but I just, it, it takes, it takes the village. Yeah, I guess. And that's but... the problem is it's, it's individually, you just got to work, I guess, inwardly. You just got to work on yourself and the things around you that you can control and then just hope that the people around you will soon follow suit, just lead by example. And I think that's the problem is everybody doesn't do that people i think are just so warped up in their own little worlds they forget to realize that you know there's a world around you <laughs> well stop getting so wrapped up in it it's just like the theme song i'm says. gonna get wrapped up in my tinfoil hat before i say this but uh <laughs> it, i also think it's a big part of the fact that our government is everybody in it is over like 90 years old <laughs> <laughs> yeah a thousand percent. I that mean, there's I, a lot of I, I love, I love elderly people. Don't get me wrong. I can sit and talk to them all day, every day. Me too. But they shouldn't be running the country. They're so Not at that touch. age. At that so age, they need to just go golfing. You know, mm -hmm. go sit on a rocking chair at Cracker Barrel. Go mm -hmm. do, go play shuffleboard. You know, live a happy else. life. I don't understand it, but then I think, well, what if the idiots that are my age get in there? Exactly. What are they going to do? <laughs> you know, is it going to get catch worse? It's 22, man. So I don't know, man. I just. I just feel like everybody feels like they have the answer of what to do. But at the end of the day, it's just. It's just finding a common the, ground that, that nobody wants to agree with. Well, I think a lot of people, they don't listen to listen reason yeah well no they don't listen to people talking just to hear what they're saying they just yeah. listen and wait to speak yeah that is a huge problem that's like honestly i i've gotten told that a lot in my life that i'm like really good at listening to people because i pay attention to literally every word that comes out of a person's mouth right. it's a problem for me because it drives me fucking insane but everyone's like you're great <laughs> Yeah, hey. I it's try to. I'm not great at it, but I don't just l wait for somebody to speak for me to speak, if that makes sense. Yeah. I genuinely try to listen to what they have to say have and to hear say. them out. Yeah. And if more like people a normal would do human that, being. if more people would do that, I think it would really, really help, especially again in politics and the government and stuff. If we would just work together. 
I know. And that's, that's, uh, uh, I'm going to join you with this tinfoil hat, man. This is why I've always said since day one, I've never once in my whole entire life voted. And I am fucking proud of that because I see things like the puzzle piece putter that I am. I see things for what they are. And I always will say that the government's best interest is the government's. And I know a lot of people think that their best interest is us. Yeah, it's and it breaks my not. heart. It's it breaks my heart us. because the, the way my mind works. OK, you're a person that works in the government. You should have the things that you need for your quality of life to be paid for. You should not be getting a salary. You know who should be getting the salary are the people who are fighting the fucking wars and going to kill themselves for your government. Mm. They should be getting the pay that the people in the government should be getting. But Lord forbid, we can't do that now, can we? It, it, and it breaks my heart. And this is why I've always said, like, if my kid wanted to join the military, I, no, I no, I'm literally attaching myself to him because it's a disrespect. It's a disrespect to him for what he would do for the country that wouldn't do for him. And it makes me so sad. It makes me so fucking sad that right. that's the country that we live in. And people can't see that because it isn't it isn't them against each other. It isn't Republicans and Democrats and blah, 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 whatever you want to say. It's them versus us. Yeah. No, it, yeah. It's like, uh, it's a. Uh, they just hold us down because they want to and they can. And it's, it's fear. It's kind of a rich versus poor type of country yeah. that we live in. And obviously the rich are going to win every time because money talks. Yep. And, uh, but no, I know a lot of people in the military that I, I would agree with you, but there's some that would disagree as well. Like they're, they're, I feel like they're on both sides of the fence of how they feel about it. It just depends on who you I talk know. to and what experiences they've had. Yeah. Uh, so I can't, for me, I can't really, I don't know. I could like my dad. My dad was in the military and he had a wonderful experience. He was in the mm. army. He had he he wanted me to go. He wanted my brother to go. But it wasn't until like I grew up and saw what I saw. Mm -hmm. You know, that's that's. Well, I, it's also gotten worse over the years on, on how they're treated worse. And, and stuff. So <laughs> like I hate the fact that there's like a veterans fund like clothes drive that comes around to me, not because of like the, what they're doing. But because I want to see a politician close drive. Yeah. Like, you know, why is it the, the veterans? Like, that's not fucking fair. Like, oh, no, I it, agree with you. It angers me. It makes me so fucking mad. I hate people, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> <laughs> I just want love and everyone to just love and spread the love. But apparently that's evil. So <laughs> what the fuck do I know? <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't really know, but it is, uh, it's, it's gotten worse. And I think something, like you said, something has to give soon. And I think it's going to, I just hope it's not as catastrophic as it feels like it's going to be. I know. I, me too. And I think that's what, <laughs> I think that's kind of like why I've been so complacent in life. Cause I'm just kind of like, you know what? Shit's going to hit the fan. I mm -hmm. see where it's going. Might as well just. Tell the people around you that you love them and enjoy the life that you have at this very moment and try to live in the now. And I hope more people do that. I hope more people embrace like what's happening to them now because I feel like it would make it would make the transition so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> From like stress, stress, stress to mega stress. Just just get a grasp. Well, on people are going to start having heart attacks at 30. I know. Because of this. <laughs> People are stressing and struggling. Like it's no. it's not funny. Like how bad it is out there. People are genuinely They're really already... struggling. People with good degrees and good professions mm -hmm. struggling. I mean, uh, people are already trying to like um, stock up on shit. Mm -hmm. Like things are already flying off the shelves around me, and I'm like, this is insane. I gotta get out of New York. <laughs> Well, yeah, you're around. Yeah, you're around all the like, real crazy chaos. You know? <laughs> Which I was too when I was in LA, and LA lost their minds. minds man. During COVID, too, it was a oh my God. <laughs> you would have thought it was the end of days. <laughs> and I'm over here being the hermit that I always am. Like, yeah. <laughs> At the time, I almost had to drive two hours away to my sister's house to get some toilet paper. 
Jesus Christ. I thought I was just going to have to start taking a shower after every shit. <laughs> the old shit and shower. <laughs> because you couldn't, bad. you couldn't get <laughs> toilet paper. <laughs> it's like... Toilet paper was like a hot commodity. You could sell it by the roll on the street for like 20 bucks a roll. It was insane. Going like they had to pass like fucking quick laws over here on the supermarkets because they started overcharging for like water. Mm -hmm. I was like one case of water of six little small little six pack was like $20. I was like, are you kidding me? I'd rather just piss in a fucking mug and like dilute that shit or something like do some science experiment with that i don't no. know if that's the route to take but i mean that's you do you i'm not trying to desperate times come from desperate measures yeah i guess sky no man what do you think <laughs> oh boy. sorry i know this is out of left field but what do you think human sex like humans having sex uh-huh. would look like to aliens coming here probably, for the first time probably honestly first <laughs> off you can't you can't right off the rip show them porn hub like that you that's off the table like that will fuck them up they would probably destroy our universe they'd be like you guys do not deserve to live <laughs> this is insane but, like, think like, about it. Like, have you ever, like, kind of stepped back and looked at things that humans do, some of the things that humans do, and try to step back and look at it as if you, like, were seeing it for the first time, like, not as a human? Just, just yeah. the dumb thing. Just, like, not anything. Just, just hugging, even. Yeah. Like, why are you guys doing that? Why are why you are doing you that? Why are you what touching? Is what is that? happening here? <laughs> They're like, we could do the same thing, but we don't have to touch each other. <laughs> Getting in cars and driving around and letting some people go and then other people don't go and then they stop and they turn here and they know, like, <laughs> to aliens coming to the planet for the first time seeing this this kind of stuff. But I just thought, like, humans having sex to aliens would just be mind-blowing, I feel like. I've always, I've always said this, especially I feel like, be like grossed out. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, even think about something as basic as like a surgery, like you're removing organs and stuff. Sometimes, like having them watch that, they'd be like, "What the fuck? Like, what is happening here?" I, I feel like they'd be scared. I feel like they would genuinely be concerned for our race. They would be like, uh, "Why are you doing that? <laughs> Who are you?" Yeah. Because if I saw, if I went to another planet and I saw aliens with their weird uh, bodily appendages sticking out and then they get hard and stick them into somebody, another alien's hole in their body. (laughs) If that's even how they even do that. I'm just saying like that, but that's what it would look like to us, like to aliens if they saw us. I mean, but you got to also think about it this way. Like think about just nature. Like that's technically almost the same. Like think about like octopuses having sex. Or not, I mean, that's also very weird <laughs> to think about, but <laughs> you get my drift, like. Yeah, it's. it's <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather not, but w- for the sake of the podcast, I will. I didn't even know that that was something that could happen. <laughs> just they just, all their tentacles. suction cups get together and then they. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you didn't have to do the noise. Why not? Just... People need more than just, you know, they need that. Common sense that... talk. <laughs> but seriously, like, turtles, like, they it's barbaric. Like, it's fucking dogs, cats. Cats have freaking little spines in their little penises. That, that's horrible. Like... <laughs> I don't know. I'm just picturing what it would be like for me to go to another planet and seeing <laughs> aliens do what we do with their bodies. It Only would their be... bodies would be different looking than ours. So it, it would just be... be confusing. Yeah, I know, but it would just you'd just be like, uh, what? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not comfortable with. Uh, yeah, I'm not <laughs> sure this is for me. I think I might need to go to a different planet. <laughs> 
I need to go now. <laughs> but just everything that we do, like playing football. <laughs> I know. Like, they're like, what's the point of this? What are like, they doing? Tackling each other, wrestling. <laughs> yeah, wrestling. Like, what is... <laughs> UFC, like all that, like all of that. They'd be like, why are we? Imagine back in the day, though, when we had gladiators and shit, and they were fighting lions. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like, why are you fighting this creature? Mm -hmm. Like, why? Who would they root for? <laughs> That's not for the lion. Would they root for the lion? Would they root for the human? Would they just root for mass chaos and just death and destruction to all? <laughs> What if, what about, what about if we're just like putting lotion on? <laughs> we're just at the we're beach putting, putting suntan lotion on. We're I at the beach just mad. sitting there. <laughs> we're just there, just laying there, soaking up the sun. And they think we're dead. <laughs> and then we every now and then flip over onto our stomachs. And they think we're cooking and sizzling like bacon. Right. <laughs> We've turned into human bacon. It It's honestly concerning <laughs> how often this thought comes into my mind that I have this little debate with myself. I'm about, also very concerned about this. I have this, I have this thought quite often, and, and it's, it's concerning. I mean, also, I just feel like... side note, um, I yeah. just found out recently that like most people use lotion like every day <laughs> every day like yeah. they'll just get out of the shower and just put lotion on yeah our skin is the biggest organ on on us so like why would you not put something to keep it hydrated i at least, at the very least. I mean, I genuinely don't as well, but I also rehydrate myself in other ways, I guess. I just drink water. Uh, is, is that not enough? That is not enough, sir. I think it is. But it's not. But, like, th minerals. that's a thing, though, that, like, how did everybody know that? Like, how did everybody just, like, because that wasn't a thing. That's never been a thing for me. To just yeah, get out of the shower and put lotion on. That's for me, that thing. sounds that's that's my that's a sensory nightmare to me. It's, 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 like a, it's, it's like when you put baby powder on a baby and stuff like you, you put there's like oils and stuff. I don't know. Like, it's just a thing that people do. I don't know. <laughs> I just wonder how many people are like me out there that didn't even realize that was a thing that people do. Like, I knew there was lotions. So I just thought people just use them for like special occasion things or something. I didn't. <laughs> Like, why are there so many different kinds of lotions in this aisle? Right. Like, what are they? It's like they, that many people jerk off. Right. Like, what? what? <laughs> like, I don't understand. <laughs> why? Why is this ninety-eight-year-old woman buying lotion? <laughs> she seems sus. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so apparently that's a thing, and I just didn't realize it was my whole life. I didn't realize it mm -hmm. was. I think, I feel like, honestly, um, they were, I feel like the, the lighter your skin is, the less people use lotion. In my general life, that is. Like, every Hispanic I know uses some sort of... Right, but I've never had somebody, substance. I've never had somebody come up and touch me and be like, oh, you're dry. Yeah, you ashy. You're, you're, you're real you dry. That, that Half the time, I feel saying. too moist. I yeah. feel sweaty. I kind of do too sometimes, I'm not going to lie. I'm very supple. <laughs> would be the word, I guess. It just, it just yeah, blows no. my mind. I've, again, I've always been a very natural person when it comes to things like that. Like, I don't wear makeup. I don't do crazy things with my hair. I don't do crazy things with my skin. I've never, I've just always been natural. So I've just taken care of myself based off of the food I eat. Um, usually lotion is, is, is for helping people who don't have that natural kind of way to kind of do that. So it kind of helps keep your, the outer of you hydrated because it's very important to take care of your skin. If you don't have your skin, right, but like, you so, die. But, <laughs> okay, but like I, 
I, for 30 years, haven't <laughs> used lotion. <laughs> and to me, getting out of the shower, right? Getting out of the shower mm -hmm. and putting lotion on, I would immediately just want to turn around and get back in the shower. So there's this, I'm, okay, so I'm kind of the same way when it comes to certain types of lotions. Like, I'm very particular any about lotion. what i put on my skin yeah any lotion i'm just saying there's there's a certain there's certain ones that i can do but you are a i don't know fucking space alien um there is this in shower lotion that is also like a a body wash that you can use and they do have like soaps and body washes and things like that that do have like that lotion effect so you're not really dehydrating your skin a lot because that's another reason why people do it when they leave the shower is a hot especially a hot shower like you you dehydrate your skin your 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 skin needs to re-moisturize it needs that it needs something and you're just kind of like <sighs> squeezing it all out otherwise just... it doesn't get rubbery and you get you turn into like a really dry fucking rubber band and then one day you just snap i'm just That's gonna name people... this the title of this podcast sound effects <laughs> Okay, listen, you know how, like, sometimes when people are, like, really, really, really old and they're like, be careful with their skin, it's so brittle, and, like, literally a touch and, like, they're bleeding. Well, it's just super they never thin. Used, because they've never used lotion to keep their skin very healthy and very vibrant and very rubbery and, and doing the thing it's supposed to do. The skin is rubbery. It's elastic. It's weird. So is my skin just going to fall off by the time I'm, like, 30? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tomorrow. <laughs> next year <laughs> i don't understand but uh, i can't i still like that. you could tell me hey you're going to die on this day if you don't start putting lotion on after every shower and i'm still gonna ha i'm still gonna second guess doing it mm -hmm. You're I'm just still gonna... going to be like, ah, I don't want to do this. <laughs> you just need... Rub myself in slime and feel and all do... greasy and slimy <laughs> right after I just took a shower and then crawl no. into my bed and make my blankets all greasy and slimy so I'm just becoming a little tortilla that's full of grease. <laughs> I need to know what the fuck you put on every lotion. Yourself. Every lotion in the world feels like that oh. to me. What about oils? That would be worse. Really? Yeah, anything that makes my skin not dry and like soft and like smooth, like uh, yeah, but like anything that, just... that makes me moist is no, it's a no go for me. <laughs> he just hasn't found the right combination. For What's the skin? point in drying off when you get out of the shower then? To get. The well, let me dry off, off and of get all this skin? hydrating water off of me and then just rub but this slime on my body. It's not. It's not. It's different. That's just the hydrogen and oxygen being put into your skin. You need more than that. You need minerals. You need vitamins. You need other stuff for your skin. It's important. <laughs> I don't know about it. It seems. This is why I said I think the way that I approach it. Is big by lotion. Natural. I think it's just big lotions. They're they're <laughs> big y lotion corporations. Yeah. <laughs> Not big pharma. It's big lotion. It's big they're, lotion. They're coming at you, and everybody's they're falling the for it. They're the same people, man. They're the same people. <laughs> I've had my tinfoil hat on this whole time, and let me tell you, <laughs> big lotion is fooling y'all. Stop doing it. Listen, like I said, best way to do it all is just. Watch what you eat and just watch what you drink. Just take care of your body inward and it's just I again, I I look like I'm in my like 20s. I shouldn't. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> Don't wear makeup. I've rarely used lotion or oils or anything like that, but I just take care of myself inward. That's it. I just eat right. I drink hydrating drinks, not just water. Well, I just think sure? there's uh, there's other ways to do it. A lot of people being fooled by big lotion and it's <laughs> becoming now that is that is actually not um that you said that like that that's actually pretty true though. There are a lot of lotions that really do cause your skin to dehydrate to but get even it worse. Just, it's not even about that for me. They can say this for will you, solve any illness you have in your body, and I'm still going to be like, oh, it's slimy. 
<laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> it's this a will sensory. Make sure you never get headaches for the yeah, rest of your life. It's a sensory life. thing. <laughs> I would rather have to take a shot every day for the rest of my life than have to put lotion on after the shower every day for the rest of my life. Jesus Christ. Because at least I'm not feeling slimy and gross for the now, rest of the day. Is that just from you touching? Or like, can somebody put lotion on you? No, it's, yeah, it's, no, it's just being on me. Just My on skin you, period. feels gross and oily and like slimy <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> so how are you after like a massage? I need a shower. Damn. Your yeah, skin is I don't hate you, man. I don't like. I don't like it. You don't like it. It's not a fun <laughs> time for me. Just like I'm, I'm like that with the sticky feeling. Just the sticky. I don't like being sticky. Well, that's what it feels like to me. Mm. It's the I same. It's that. the same sensory. I think the same, same sensory. The feeling of. How things are like when they're sticky. That's how it is for me when there's lotion on me. It's yeah. That same kind of, ugh, I don't like this feeling. <laughs> I haven't had that issue with the lotions that I buy. But I also, again, I rarely use it. And I always look at the back of the bottles. Like, I'm very particular about what I use. And I feel like the ones that leave me, like, feeling that way are usually the ones that, like, are more harmful to my skin. Yeah. But that's just, like my observation from the stuff that i've used there's other stuff but like i don't know yeah i feel like it would benefit you but oh i'm sure it would but i just can't do it is there like an al- alternative that's what i said you gotta eat right and drink more I hydrating mean, stuff inwardly there's no, no after that is just death i don't know what to tell you man <laughs> there's no other fucking option well, just keep living what you're living <laughs> i'm asking all you room readers out there if this has been a, if, tell me if you are the type of person that just never puts lotion on or you're the type of person that has it every day and puts it on because i don't think i, I think you're being lied to i think everybody's being <laughs> lied to a big lotion and we need to stop it uh, but yeah, I talked about crawling into bed too, right? Like how, yeah, it's going to get on your blankets. You're going to have to wash your blankets. Again, I've never had that experience. I don't, I don't know. I've never once put stuff on and then got into bed and, and the stuff got okay, on. Let me, okay. Let me, okay. Let me, let me put um, it this way. Like using off bug spray. Yeah. You put that on, right? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't crawl into your bed with that on. I have. I mean, but you also, you don't, like, spray it and then immediately jump into bed. I know, even once it dries. Like, Because yeah, it's once still it dries, there. It's still there and still feels gross to me. I know. I don't. It's just, it's fine for me. Like I said, I've never had these issues. Not, I've never, I've got lotion right next to me. Do you sleep naked? Uh, sometimes, depending on the weather and where my kid is. Oh yeah, you have a kid. <laughs> I have a kid, so it's kind of hard for me to. <laughs> I uh, I have slept naked. What I just, what are your thoughts on it? Do you think it's weird too, or like, is that a normal thing? No, oh, I prefer it, especially when you have nice soft sheets and stuff. Oh, fuck. covered in that lotiony slime. Oh, uh, with your lotiony slime all over the place. <laughs> It sounds like a kinky time to me. I don't know. I yeah, think I like podcast it. This podcast has taken a <laughs> wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> it took a wrong turn a day. The time you were talking about the tip. I have, I have not oh left the God. gutter. <laughs> but, I've just been focusing on the tip. <laughs> yeah, it's just one of those things that uh, I don't know about it. Because, like, what if there's a fire in the middle of the night and you got to get up and run out? That was, yeah. That's the thought that I've had. I, I, I oh. And I think I've I've at least put like there's something I to, like it shorts and like a tank yeah, top. Yeah, like I'm I'm a, I, I think at the very least have underwear on, right? Have some kind yeah. of underwear on. Yeah. Because you, but like <sighs> somebody knocks on your door in the middle of the night. Man, that's on them. You knocking at my door, you're gonna see my snatch. It's just what it is. Like <laughs> Jesus. <Christ. laughs> 
Get, what do you want? Like, I'm sleeping. I don't feel like doing stuff. Why are you here? I'm you obviously answer the know me. Free Willie. <laughs> Sorry, man. You came here at two in the morning. It's on you. It's on you. Like we. No, we literally, must be it's that. on you. Watch out. <laughs> Can you move a little to the left? <laughs> Just, oh, oh, don't some... close that door. <laughs> There's a draft, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's cold in my room. <laughs> but, like, I feel like if you're coming at my house at that time of night, like, we must be comfortable with each other or something. I don't know. But, I don't well, no, know. I've had random people show up in the middle of the night with at my house before, just drunk or whatever. And I'm yeah, just I like... Mean, I have too. Have and woken I just, me up. That first of all, that's like the most terrifying way to be woken up. Yeah, somebody banging on your somebody just door. banging on your door in the middle of the night. Like, Ugh. oh, it's horrible. My heart is like fucking palpitating just thinking about it. Is that a word? Yes. <laughs> palpitating. <laughs> palpitating. Isn't it pal palpating pal palpitating palpitating? <laughs> I don't think you're saying that right. Palpitations. Palpitating? I don't know. I've noticed you add tated to a lot of words that don't have tated. I didn't add the ed. I added the ing. <laughs> Either way, it's a terrible way to wake up, <laughs> and I don't ever want it to happen to me again. Like I don't even like being woken up by a phone call in the middle of the night. That's even like it's like oh something's wrong because there's nothing good. Nothing good is is coming out of that. You know what I mean? There's nothing good coming mm -hmm. out of a phone call in the middle of the night or somebody banging on your door in the middle of the night. Not a not a single good thing about it. And I just don't think uh, you should be naked in that situation. I think you should at the very <laughs> least have underwear on. I mean, I also keep like a, a like a hoodie very close by. Yeah. In the event that I have to, because I've done that. I've literally been butt ass naked, and then somebody comes to my door. It's usually like 12 in the afternoon. But like, <laughs> I just grab the hoodie and just put it on. Like, the hoodie comes down to like my calves, so I'm good. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't, I just, I feel like I'm going to get so much hate for this, and I don't care. I just feel like people just sexualize the human body way too fucking much. And I, I, I blame society. I blame, like, Hollywood, places like that, where they just... Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I just, I hate it. Like, I hate it because it's such a natural thing, but yet there's so much about it that is taboo about it that we're supposed to be like, oh, but you can't look at that, but you can't talk about that. You can't look... Like... It makes people feel ashamed about their own skin, about who they are. And yeah. it's 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 stupid to me. Like we could look I think about like nudist colonies. Like you, you could literally go there and they're not looking at it as like ah, dick, ah, dick. Yeah. They're just like, You're a fucking human and I could speak to you like a human. Mm -hmm. And that's not gonna change my reflection upon you, whether whether or not you're attractive or not to me, whether or not like that's not gonna be a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I just, I feel like people just, they, they take it so hard. And like, I get it, especially with like kids, but kids are going to grow up in a time where they're going to see these things. And it's best for a parent to teach them to understand what it is instead of being ashamed of what their body is going to turn into or what the things that they are going to see. And obviously use your discretion because some kids, you know, are maturely ready for something like that. But still, like, I feel like, People just make too much of a taboo about it. Yeah. When well, there's education that could be had, but I don't know. I agree. I agree. You're 100% you're right. Everything you said. And <laughs> <laughs> on that note, we're going to get out of here, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here for this episode. We appreciate you all. And uh, Sky. Mm -hmm. Thank you for joining as well, as always, being a mm -hmm. wonderful hostess. Host? Mm -hmm. Hostess? Hostess with Now hostess. I want a snack cake. I know, me too. <laughs> Give me some uh. Twinkies. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we're going to head out. Thank you to everybody that was here in the live uh, recording of this on Twitch. And we'll be back next Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. You can follow us on all of our social media accounts. We have a Facebook page where we're going to try to start getting some more interaction and getting uh, 
some more uh, content to you guys. I could not think of the word content. <laughs> but yeah, some more content to you guys there. So be sure to go follow our Facebook page as well. But yeah, thank you, Sky. Thank you to everybody for being here. We'll be back next Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Everybody, until then, one thing to always remember. Read the, the room. room.